It's normally the return, but this season it was the serve that carried Rafael Nadal to world number one for the fourth time in his career. And an emphasis ATP beyond the numbers analysis of his service patterns reveals a key change that took him from personal worst to first between 2016 and 2017. The Spaniard finished number one on tour with second serve points converted in 2017 at 61.5% recording his personal best with this specific metric since 2003. It's a remarkable improvement, considering he only won a career low 54% in 2016. Nadal's second serve dominance in 2017 came from mixing it around the service box, especially in the deuce court. That's a smart serve, because the uh, team was trying to run around the serve. The strategy was to surprise opponents by serving to their stronger forehand return instead of the weaker backhand. The serve went right a whole lot more this year, and it worked a treat. For example, at ATP Masters 1000 events and the Nito ATP Finals this season, Nadal hit 86 second serves out wide in the deuce court. Last season, he only attempted four to the same location. Nadal's commitment to hit more wide second serves in the deuce court was well rewarded, as he had the highest win percentage than any other location. In the ad court, Nadal served primarily at the body and had the highest win percentage out wide at 64.4%. Nadal won an impressive 74% of his first serve points in 2017, which was only 1% lower than his personal best performances in this area in 2010 and 2012. This is sensational. I mean, Celic, as the ball left his back end, must have said he was onto something. He hit 286 aces this season, which was his second highest total after hitting 310 back in 2010. His service and an element of surprise have been the key in Nadal's renaissance back to number one this season. Rafa, no!